Previously on Casey Undercover. Hi, is this the Cooper residence? I'm actually looking for Cure Cooper. I think she might be my mother's sister. Say she is my niece. If she's anything like her mother, that girl is no good. And I don't want anyone from this family to have any contact whatsoever with that Abby girl. I'm sorry, I didn't get to properly introduce myself before. I'm Casey Cooper, and I'm your cousin. Come on in. I'm so glad we got to hang. The thought of having a cousin is just blowing my mind. <laughs> I think now we can say, what up, cuz, and not sound dumb. <laughs> no, it still sounds dumb. <laughs> Any chance you can sneak away again sometime soon? Hey, what my mom doesn't know won't hurt her, right? Right? It's not like she's some super spy who knows what you're doing every second. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, a spy, th that is hysterical, you know, because my mom is not a spy. At all, in any way. You know, spy, what? <laughs> I should go. <laughs> Judy, what are you doing here? I have a better question. What are you doing here? Uh, I am um, sleepwalking. Okay, and you should not wake me because it is dangerous. What's dangerous is going against your mother's orders. Judy, please. Don't can Judy you... please me. I'll have to tell Agent Kira. Why can't we just, you know, keep a secret between us sisters? The last time you kept a secret, you got everyone kicked out of the organization. Okay, can we please stop living in the past? <laughs> Look, I'm begging you. Can you please just keep this between us? Well, when you put it like that, all I can say is... She went against your wishes, lied to you, then threatened me if I told you. <laughs> well, I think that about covers everything. Night, everyone. No, no, good work, Judy. Good work. See, I was testing her surveillance and reporting skills, and I, she passed with flying colors. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> I'll show myself to my room now. <laughs> oh, when danger comes to you, you know I'll step aside, yeah. Cause ain't nobody keep their head so cool. Undercover. Living my life, I'm ready to learn. You want my thing, I'll make it work. No, I'm the real. Maybe I'm fearless, but I always got your back. Nobody can do it like I can. I gotta find out who I am. Ain't gonna worry about me. It's all a part of the plan. I keep it undercover. I keep it undercover. retrieve is on the 15th floor so once we get there we gotta break through the window grab it and then rappel down sound good why ask me you're just gonna do what you want to do anyway <laughs> why do i have a feeling we're not talking about the mission anymore i specifically told you not to see abby and you did it anyway really we're gonna talk about this now this can't wait till we're not dangling 40 stories in the air dodging pigeon poop <laughs> You could be putting us all in danger with that girl. That girl is your niece. So she says. You know, for someone so smart, you're acting straight up stupid. <laughs> for all we know, she could be an enemy agent. Really? Who worked her butt off to get a scholarship to Howard University and in between her job at the bookstore and studying for midterm, she's plotting against us? You said it, I didn't. <laughs> You just didn't like her mother. How would you like it if people judged you based on who your sister was? They do. Do you know how many times I've been interrogated by the organization because of my sister?
And they look at me a little sideways because maybe, just maybe, I'm like her. And I have to prove to them every day that I am a different person than she was. Do you have any idea what that's like? I didn't realize. I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Now promise me you'll never see her again. Promise me. Fine. I promise. Good. 15th floor. Okay, get in there. Uh, Mom, I think we calculated it wrong because that's the men's bathroom and it's occupado. <laughs> Is this East Grand Street or West Grand Street? It's North Elm. <laughs> Do we even have a mission or did you just bring me up here to yell at me where no one could hear you? <laughs> Talk to you, Robo Snitch. Talk to me. You can't be trusted. Ratting out Casey was wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Whatever. I'm programmed to tell the truth. It's a robot thing. Well, let me tell you about a human thing. It's called looking out for your own. I've had plenty of opportunities to rat Casey out, but I didn't. Like the time she was two hours late for curfew. Or when she cut school to go to that Stephen Hawking lecture. Or when I found out Casey told Marissa we were spies. I could have ratted her out, but I didn't. I kept my mouth shut and never told a single soul. Until now. Uh-oh. Please don't tell anyone I said that. Relax. Just because you can't keep the secret doesn't mean I can. Oh, good. For Bryce. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, Casey, we're still on for tonight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She said yes. She always enjoys hanging out with you. <laughs> and she will wear whatever adorable outfit I pick out for her. Oh, don't bother. I like when she wears a red plaid shirt wrapped around her waist. <laughs> You two are a perfect match. You don't dress well, and he doesn't care. <laughs> so tell me about this cousin of yours. Is she pretty? Is she fashionable? Can she introduce me to cute college boys? <laughs> yes, yes. And um, why don't you work on getting into college so you can meet those boys on your own? <laughs> uh, sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Abby's a lot of fun. She likes reading and math and science. I mean, I gotta say, it's really cool having a cousin. It's too bad your mom won't let you see her anymore. <laughs> You're still gonna see her? Well, yeah. She's my cousin. I can't just walk away. I can't believe they're going to deliberately disobey your mother. My baby's all grown up. <laughs> Casey Cooper is some kind of goody two shoes. Yeah, well, I'm not. Okay? I am a rebel. I am bad news. I am a rule breaker, you know? <laughs> hey! That goes in the recycling bin. <laughs> Half vegetarian lovers pizza. I know they look pretty happy together. I guess opposites really do attract. <laughs> Burger. <laughs> From my mouth. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Not only am I bad 
kind of dating, but apparently I'm uh, not very good at eating either. Hey, everyone's bad at dating until you find the right person. Mm -hmm. Besides, you're getting better. Last time we went out, I shot apple juice to your nose. Yeah, the worst part about that was I did it to impress you. It did it. I see that now. <laughs> Um, I hope you don't mind, but I asked my cousin to translate it. You invited someone else? You really are bad at dating. Yeah, I know it's a little weird, but our moms didn't really get along, so we're not supposed to hang out. Hey, no problem. It's cool. Good, because my grandparents are actually going to come later. Seriously? I'm no, kidding. Kidding. All right? Not that bad at dating. Oh, hey, Abby, right here. This is Darian. Hi, Darian. Nice to... Wait, are you on a date? I didn't know you were on a date or I wouldn't have come. I should leave, shouldn't I? Wait, you invited me. Is this normal? I wouldn't know. I'm really bad at dating. Uh, this must be your cousin. Hi, <laughs> Mabby. Wow, you guys look like each other. <laughs> you kind of act the same, too. We're not that, that much alike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, maybe. <laughs> about this whole keeping a secret thing. Yeah? Well, it sure would be a lot easier if I had a nice bed to sleep on. You want me to buy you a bed? No, don't be silly. I want your bed. <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you, I sometimes snore. Uh, it won't bother me because once that lid goes, that baby is soundproof. I'm not sleeping in there. You will if you want me to stay soundproof. You're late. I know. I know. I'm sorry. You were with Abby, weren't you? You know what, Mom? I cannot lie to you, okay? So I'm just going to tell you the truth. I was with Darian. <laughs> Darian? With that really cute football player from school? Is he cute? I didn't notice. <laughs> yes, he's cute. And you were out with him? But you missed your curfew, and I am so mad at you. <laughs> Really? Because it looks like you're smiling. No, no, I am scowling. This is me not happy with you. <laughs> My baby is dating a football okay, player. Like, no. <laughs> we're not dating, okay? We're just hanging out. No, fine. But if you pull this nonsense again, then I am rounding you, Missy. <laughs> Miss, I'm not in trouble? Come on, Casey. You're a good kid. No, I am a good kid, you know, except for the lying and the sneaking around and the deliberately disobey. Oh, no. I've become Marissa. <laughs> You know who sleeps well in a box? Dead people. Well, look alive, because Agent Kira has just given us a mission. We have to retrieve an important flash drive down a manhole on 23rd Street. Pulling him to a sewer? That's gross. Why can't you do it? It's called a manhole, not a robot hole. <laughs> and if I can learn a human thing like keeping a secret, you can learn a robot thing like crawling through a wet, dark, stanky sewer. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Lord, help me. I'm doing it. <laughs> Just look for the flash drive. I think I found it. Not a flash drive, not a flash drive. Hey, you might want to keep your mouth shut. Why? That's why.
Forever. I'm not just your daughter's friend. I am your friend, too. It just seems so silly to be so formal and call you... Hi, Mrs. Cooper. <laughs> Hello, Marissa. <laughs> so, uh, where's Casey? I thought she was with you. Busted! <laughs> she... Um, is is with with Darren? Yeah, uh, yeah. She was afraid that you would think that they are spending too much time together, and the relationship is going way too fast. <laughs> She's with Darian. Well, that's fine. I mean, he's a nice guy, and I think they make a cute couple. <laughs> I totally agree, Kira. I, I mean, uh, Mrs. Kira Cooper, adult lady who I respectfully respect. <laughs> Cooper, is Casey here? Darian, I thought she was with you. With me? Oh, no. I totally forgot. She's with Marissa. Helping her study. You know, that girl can use all the help she can get. <laughs> I will have you know that I get A's in school when I sit next to smart people. <laughs> Did I say she was with Marissa? Sure, what I meant to say was Don't that she's... bother. I know exactly who she's with. I'm telling you, I'm a way bigger nerd than you are. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, really? How many library cards do you have? You really want to play this game. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Freedom and weep. I've got Will County, Cook County, DuPage County, and now the Howard University Library. Mm. Too rich for my blood, or is it? <laughs> we have Arlington County, Hamilton High, Montgomery County, DC Metro Area, and what is this? The Library of Congress? <laughs> no way! How'd you get that? <laughs> I filled out an application in person on a Saturday night. <laughs> Who's the nerd now? <laughs> oh, hail, Queen Nerd. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna be late for class. Oh, I'll walk you up. What you pulled yesterday put me in a really uncomfortable position. Worse than that time that you insisted on doing hot yoga in your skinny jeans? I am serious. If I'm gonna look bad in front of your mom, it should be because of something that I did. This cousin of yours is a bad influence on you, and that is my job. Okay, Marissa, don't worry. Okay, you will always bring out the worst in me. Now, can you please tell me what you're talking about? I was at your house looking for you, and your mom thought that you were with me. But because I can think fast on my feet... You mean live fast on your feet? Whatever. <laughs> I said that you were with Darian. She believed me, and everything was fine until he showed up. Wait, so she knows that I wasn't with you or Darian? Well, then she knows that I was with Abby. What? Why am I still alive? <laughs> I believe she is going with the classic guilting you into telling her the truth routine. It is an oldie but a goodie, but don't fall for it. It is a game of chicken, and you have to be the last chick standing. Wow. 
No one knows more about lying than you do, and I mean that as a compliment. Oh, just how I took it. <laughs> See you later. Hey, I need to talk to you. Oh, Marissa just told me. I'm really sorry about that, Darian. Yeah, here's the thing. If you want to go behind your mom's back and hang out with your cousin, that's on you. I know. It's messed up. I just, I gotta be honest with her. Good. Because the last thing I need is for her to hate the guy you're seeing. <laughs> Wait, seeing? We're, we're seeing each other. We're seeing each other. We're seeing each other. <laughs> we're seeing each other. Uh, <clears throat> well, not, you know, you and me, you know. But I mean, I can see, but I can't. I mean, we're not really seeing. Darren and I, we're... I gotta go. <laughs> We analyzed the glass you brought in, and we have the results from the DNA test. And that Abby girl is lying. We're not really related, right? No, it's a match. No doubt about it. So then, she's really my niece? Yes, she is. I can't believe it. I have a niece. And she has a mother. Where is Erica? I told you, she's dead. We never found a body. You know more than you're telling. What happened to your sister? For the millionth time, I don't know Agent Johnson. I've never known Agent Johnson. But if I find out, I'll let you know, Agent Johnson. Now, does the rest of her story pan out or not? <laughs> All right, take it easy. <laughs> Chill out, Kira. <laughs> Everything you want to know is in the file. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm reading. I gotta get to Casey. Me first, okay? Look, I've been going behind your back and spending time with Abby. That's exactly what I want to... Just let me finish, okay? I lied. And I'm really sorry, but you're the one who taught me that family comes first. And we're the only family that Abby has. That's what I'm trying Mama, to tell you. Just hear me out. Abby is a great girl, okay? And she's already become important to me. And I think if you gave her a chance... She could become very important to you, too. Are you done? Yes, I am. Good. Because I ran a DNA screening and a background check, and I know you thought she was everything she said she was. And you were right. It's all true. <laughs> Abby is your cousin. She did grow up in Evanston. She did earn a scholarship to Howard, and believe it or not, she spent all the last night applying for a card at the Library of Congress. What a nerd. Hey, that's my niece you're talking about. And I know she's dying to meet you. Hey, Ernie. How'd you know it was me? I can smell you coming. But I took five showers. Have you considered taking a bath? Oh, no. Standing water is no longer my friend. Well, maybe you need some new friends. Like a bar of soap and a good sturdy sponge. <laughs> enough is enough. I know you love having power over me because I let it slip about Marissa knowing we're spies. But Marissa can be trusted. And trust is something you earn, Judy. You don't just blackmail your way into it. So fine, just tell Mom. Please, if I was going to tell her, I would have told her months ago. You already knew? So you did all this just to mess with me? Yep. By the way, the mission in the sewer made it up. That sewer was gross and disgusting. That was the plan. 
Well, glad I got rid of those nasty, stinky clothes. Where'd you put them? Sweet dreams. <laughs> much for letting me come over. It means a lot, Miss Cooper. Oh, please. Call me Kira. Or I'm Kira. If you want, you don't have to. You know what? Whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Kira. Oh, come here. <laughs> this is such a beautiful moment, and let's not forget this would not have been possible if it weren't for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the gift. Oh, Give me the gift. Right, right, right. Yeah. Hey, Abby. We have a little present for you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, actually, it's a family heirloom. And since you're part of the family... What a beautiful locket. Go ahead, open it. Is... This is a picture of... I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm looking at my mother. We figured that since your mom's gone, this would be the next best thing. You don't know how many nights I laid in bed as a little girl, just wondering... What was she like? Do I look like her? I have her smile. And now, I'm actually looking at my mother's face. Abby. She's not gone. I, I'm sorry, what? She's alive. What? She's alive, and I know where she is. I'm sorry. You know where she is? Mom, this whole time you said that Casey, she's... I know what I said. But I didn't say what I know. Sweetie, let me explain something to you. Listen very closely. I've secretly been in contact with your mother, Abby. She's alive and in hiding. It's all falling into place. After all this time... Kira Cooper's gonna lead us straight to her sister. Rob, your name's on TV!